Yep. Dang on, dang on. So here's the deal. This build went so well, we want to do it again. No, so yeah. shout out to some very astute viewers, and I think Josh was the first guy to actually notice it. So shout out to you, Josh. Not this Josh, Josh just no, no, this, this guy didn't know anything. Uh, we put the VRM on the wrong, or the VRM pad for the water block, not on the VRMs, it was on the chokes. And that's my bad, I should have caught that. Hey, Jay, Jay, I'm in marketing, let me hit. We put that in there intentionally to see how closely you guys pay attention to these videos. So congratulations on passing the test. You might have noticed that in pre-rolls where we say we put V10 engine sound on a V12 car. Again, you guys pass. Legitimately though, I'm not sure if I did it right on my D-frame build now. So now I'm gonna have to go back and watch the build footage to see if I did it wrong. So I think that, that keeps with the theme of like, this is a real build, yeah. stuff happens, you know? Here's the other thing too, is we did not put a drain in here, like a drain port, specifically because there was no way to neatly do it with the parts that we had. And we actually already drained this once during the build just when we were testing stuff. So there is a drain method that I'm gonna use. So it'll be a little bit of a how-to in that. And then uh, we're gonna address some of your questions from the build video that went up last. If you guys haven't seen that, watch that one first. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll, ask, we'll answer some why did we do it this way questions. All right. You know what, I'm just done with this. Let's... One thing I'll say though is a lot of people complain like, why aren't you using an HP bridge? What, what, what does it say? Universe. What does it say? What does it say? So normally I would have a drain coming off the reservoir, but on this, we actually use this fitting right here. But if I obviously just open that up like that, it is going to leak. So what we have to do with this guy is, Josh, why don't you get the paper towels? If you come in here and look at this, you'll see that this tube starts to get uh, empty. So I'm just gonna crack this fitting just a little bit because as soon as it starts to break the seal, if there's any pressure in the system, which there shouldn't be because it's been off, then we'll be all right, but yeah. So the fluid will be right on the edge of that. Ding. Bone dry. No, <laughs> where's all your fluid? <laughs> you got a problem, sir. So now what we do is we just thread in my drain. So yeah, we it's adding a couple extra steps to drain this system, but I think Josh agrees that this was a cleaner way of doing it. There, so now we can set it upright. As long as this is perpendicular, then you know it's blocking the flow, right? That's the easiest way to remember the valve, whether open or closed. Perpendicular means closed. Let me go ahead and run. It's like a roadblock across the road there. So I gotta undo this cap so that we can let air in, and then we can... Oh my God, it's leaking. That's a feature too. Yeah. Nice. Completely think... drained right there. All done. Yeah, yep, we're good. <laughs> now I'm legit have been wondering, like, did I do the D-frame wrong too? <laughs> At least that one's a lot easier to get to. Yeah. I'm blowing bacteria into the loop. Good shit. <clears throat> Great, that's, that's what I want in there. So I'm just giving people ammunition to be like, see, that's why I don't water cool because it just isn't worth it. It's also not worth spending $100,000 on an engine to go 250 miles an hour in the Texas mile, but people still do it. You know, and my thoughts too are like, anybody can build a PC, it is easy. It's when you have that first problem, troubleshoot, whatever, that's where. I still enjoy this. I mean, this is still fun for me. We are going to elevate the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> this party's in fuego. <laughs> we might have to take more of the loop apart. <laughs> this is gonna be like a complete teardown, you know that. Gotta wiggle, there you go. Gotta match that. We are almost disassembled. So since we have the top off, we can also just Ooh. slide it out this way as it hooks on all the cables. use this as a marketing opportunity. Not in my channel, bro. Believe me, nobody watches your channel to learn anything, so I'm good. We don't want to lose the washers either. We have to do the surgeon thing, go over there, someone's count it. One, two, three, four, five. So all of this was just so that we could get to that. <laughs> because this was supposed to go, we're just off a wee bit. There. There. So like I said, I'm, I can't remember if I did this right on my D-frame or not, so. Yeah, all of that for that. All of that for that. So now we have to redo the thermal paste. So these are the VRMs down here. We had stuck them on the choke. Uh, I think the reason why I did that out of habit was because on the GPU blocks, you do cool the chokes too, but. I mean, let's be honest here. We could have done all this off camera and not showed anybody. Mm -hmm. um, but we air my mistakes around here. We like keeping it real, as it were. This is how people learn though. I mean, if, if the guy is always like, I'm perfect and I do everything right, then no one learns anything because they're gonna be like, 
how do I handle these problems when they arise? Because a real person is going to get in here and maybe make that mistake. But, wow. if they, but if they see this and they'd be like, well, this pro makes mistakes too, then it feels more real. <laughs> um. It's best to splash as much coolant on the case so that the case is just as cool as everything inside it. <laughs> Looks like Grimace threw up all over the <laughs> All right, so obviously it's back together and we are now doing updates because we made the mistake of plugging in the ethernet cable and it was like, ooh, internet, update. Windows saw a chance to cock block the rest of the build going forward or tweaking everything. Plus we also did the BIOS update. Too much. Yeah, we did do a BIOS update. We were on 0702, which was a very old BIOS. Now we're on 1307 or 1301, whatever. So we were gonna take this opportunity to answer a couple of questions from the why did you this and why did you that and why did you, why did you, why did you, and all the stupid why did you questions. Let's start with the obvious. Does Fractal sell purple fans? No, we don't actually. These are Venturi's that Anna custom painted. And where is Anna? She's off painting something else somewhere. Hey Anna. What paint did you use on the fans? It's a paint called Montana. They're like their black line series. They're awesome. They have every shade of every color. There you go, Montana paint, if you want to replicate something like that. Uh, the other thing that we get a lot is the height thing. We're, we're both just tall. No, yeah. seriously, you're like 6'6 with shoes. I can fit in a Lamborghini. Oh, that's Here. another one. Here. Someone, someone's talking treasure. Dude whips in a Lambo. Rental. Oh my God, rental. He's known as like the rental car king. Yeah, believe me, if I had a Lambo, I would probably be driving that right now. You wouldn't be having me build your computer. No, no, exactly. I'd have standards. You go to Linus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lambo buddies. And he can't reach the top part of the loop anyway. It's okay. Um, same shirt. Yes, I only have one shirt. It's not possible that I have multiple copies. Of Is it also shirt. completely unfathomable that you would be wearing a Fractal Design shirt while doing a fairly Fractal Design sponsored video? Yeah, I thought it was a coincidence, but you know, no, I planned ahead and I did that. Okay, can I have your old build? No. Because he's greedy, mostly. Greedy and I have other plans for it. It's not the only system that I need. So there you go. I didn't ask for it because it's too slow. I have a 4770K, but it's on display in the glass coffee table. So you just have it as art, an art installation? You are stuck up. Um, let me see here. Sound like Harrison Ford or Han Solo? I don't get that. I don't get it. I, I do not you get You know, it. I think you sound a lot like Josh Smith. Hey, that would work. That's me. Um, the bridge. What do you want to say about the bridge? We already showed it earlier in the video. It is an HB bridge. Just because it doesn't have LEDs and a nifty little cover, it is still in an HB bridge. And fun fact, if you guys take the solid bridge from like old generation motherboards before HB bridges were even developed, if you put that in with two Pascal cards, and it, it will identify as an HB bridge. It has something to do with the bandwidth capability of both headers being used and then having the solid connection, not the flexible ribbon cable. So yeah, I mean, I don't know why people thought just because it came with the motherboard, it wasn't an HP bridge. It more than is an HP bridge. Well, more I, than is, more than is. Oh, people seem to like content with you and I in it together. Well, and a lot of people say it seems like we're friends and like that's camera trickery. Just like it is. That just, is my it, amazing it acting skill. Yeah, exactly. Like, as soon as there's cut, it's like you piece of shit. Like as soon as we cut right now, you are GTFO. Oh, one last one. Some guy said, no one knows me as Fractal Josh. Okay, man, you got like two followers. One of them's your mom and she has you muted. Suck it. I've been around Jay too much. And cut. <laughs>